Well, hello again there, ladies and gentlemen. This is The Kid bringing you game number two of this epic matchup between Marine King Prime and Don Regu. This, once again, is coming from the Winter Arena, and a great series. I can't wait to finish this up with you guys. Uh, hopefully, some of you have seen the first game, and just since I didn't really get to introduce myself very much in the, in the last game, I'll just give you a little bit of information about, you, uh, about me. Uh, for... Uh, all intents and purposes, I'm brand new to this. I started watching Husky and HD and MLG and all those things, you know, the first uh, winter that StarCraft came out because I was going home for the holidays and I wasn't going to have my computer and uh, I just wanted to have StarCraft. So I remember looking it up on YouTube and trying to find some games and I came across Husky and HD and ever since I've loved watching StarCraft, I, you know, I watch all the MLGs that I can, GSL a couple times, everything. I just can't get enough and I... Uh, I'm actually a Zerg player, so you know I might be a little biased, but either way, uh, I am really looking for your guys' feedback and help on this. Uh, in my last video, I know I probably came across a little rusty, but please give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Give me, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, let me know about games you want to see, any sort of things. I would love feedback. Like the videos, dislike them, but if you're going to dislike them, give me something to work with. I really want to become a, a good caster. I want to be able to bring you guys great games that you're just going to love watching and that you're just going to have a ton of fun with. So without any more uh, without any more of that, we're just going to go ahead and watch this game. It looks like Marine King is going to go ahead and start off with an early command center, which is basically immediately going to be scouted by Don Regu. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I see this from pro players and I'm like, why can't I ever do that? I mean, obviously I play Zerg, so I mean, I fast expand almost all the time. But, like, Terran, Protoss, like, sometimes they'll just expand out of the blue like this. And this is really gutsy. But, you know, Marine King most likely going to be able to pull it off. We'll see what Don Regu does. Don Regu already throwing down his hatchery. Uh, going to, you know, give a couple drones here, get some saturation. But we're going to have to see how he punishes this. I mean, there's obviously no defense right here. We're going to have a bunker down, I mean, a barracks down, two barrackses. So, you know, probably throw down some sort of bunker right around here. And, um, and we'll see what M what MKP is going to be able to do to defend this. And now Don Regu getting gas early. This could be to get Lings out fast and get uh, speed Lings out as quickly as possible so that he can, he can punish this to some degree. But by the time that speed is over, there will probably be a significant amount of Marines out that are going to be able to defend this pretty well. But uh, we'll see. Don Regu's control should, uh, really needs to prove itself after the beginning of the last game where Marine King's marines just showed why he has the name he has so just getting started here and once again gas is going down immediately don regu pulling two of the drones off gas because he's probably going to go ahead and get some lings to try and punish that he also wants to get out these two queens that are going to pop soon and get that larva coming we'll see if he actually makes some sort of big push with these lings maybe he'll do a big swell of them but oh, i guess not we're seeing three drones so Maybe just a little bit of harassment, most likely nothing that intense right off the bat. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and switch the income tab. Don Regu taking a nice early lead in the drone count, but of course, Marine King will have those mules to make up the difference. Here we go, the queens are popping and throwing down two more barracks. So, Marine King is going to have a lot of Marines by the time Don Regu can actually push. Now, with only one drone on gas, we're most likely not going to see banelings right now. Maybe these lings will just be for map control, maybe to deny, uh, you know, take out some scouting marines, things like that. Don Regu going to go ahead and scout out the base, see what he can find out here. And once again, just like in the last game, Green King really going out of his way to block the pathing of Zergling runbys. You know, this will most likely become a wall. He'll wall off right here, a couple supply depots, possibly a bunker, and um, and that'll just throw off the Zergling runbys for the most part and really keep uh, him being able to turtle up, possibly get some siege tanks, throw him on the high ground up here, and really make him turtled in and happy just like Zerg players always are. But look at this. I guess we are going to see a really, really large push by Don Regu. Now... If we look at the production, this is not an all-in. He's going to go ahead and throw down a lot of drones behind this. And he might actually be able to do a considerable amount of damage if he gets a run-by. And he does. Gets right in the middle line, splits his lings up. 
He's going to get a good surround on a lot of these Marines and definitely punishing this. Marine King is in a lot of trouble with this. Don Regu bringing everything he has and still building a hatchery behind this. This isn't even an all-in, guys. Don Regu is going to macro behind this, and he is definitely going to bring this game back. I cannot possibly see Marine King uh, coming back from this at all. He just lost a ton of units. He lost twice as many units as, uh, as Don Regu has, which is an awful position to be in if you are a Terran player. You never, ever want to lose more than the Zerg because Terran units are obviously much more expensive. They need to be much more cost efficient. And, uh, you know, he just... And, oh! Almost snags that last SCV there. He survives with five health. And let's go to the production tab and see what Don Regu's got in store behind this. He's getting plus one attack for his lings. He hasn't gotten a lair yet, but he really doesn't need to. He can afford to macro up off of this quite a bit. He knows that Marine King has no real answer to this right now. He just destroyed a ton of Marine King's production, I mean, a lot of his SCVs. And Don Regu's got to be feeling pretty good right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see Marine King go for some kind of drops because that's going to be really cost efficient. But instead, right now, he feels like it's best idea to go for a command center. Kind of gutsy, but if he can hold off any good Ling aggression and he can get this down, this could bring him back in the game. It'll put him on equal bases with the Zerg. He'll get more mules out, and it'll really allow him to macro up and possibly start getting out the stuff he needs for the drops. Throwing down these double engineering bays, he does have the gas for this. Possibly throw down plus one armor and weapons all at the same time really to allow him to get as much of an edge as possible. He's walled in here. He knows that he can defend this very well against Zerglings. You know, throw SCVs behind these supply depots to keep them from getting pulled down. And this bunker <coughs> full of Marines. And yes, just like uh, just like we said, he's going for that plus one. But Don Regu staying on this Ling tech. He doesn't really have very much else coming out. He might go for a Baneling buzz. Getting down this extra hatchery, and he is not mining much gas. This may indeed be a Baneling bust, and here we go, 18 Banelings. He is going to break down this door, and I really don't, without siege tanks, I really cannot see Marine King surviving from this. These supply depots are going to melt away. It's going to supply depot, it's going to supply block Marine King. He's not going to be able to do anything against against this, and he is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here come all these lings. Holy cow, and the timing on the plus one was perfect. He is ready to go. These banelings now do 85 damage to structures, and Marine King, you better be ready for the hurt, because this is going to be bad. And here come the banelings, focusing down that bunker, getting the supply depot. Now, you do want to save some of those banelings for the Marine King. And Marine King splitting up his army as best he can, but I don't feel like it's going to be enough. Borland streaming in from Don Regu, and there is the good game. So two relatively fast games right now. Neither of these games have we really seen either player get above, like, a Tier 1 unit. And I guess Marauders for Marine King, but really... You know, just Roaches, Lings, Banelings, Marines, and Marauders so far. But an epic game. Well done to Don Regu. He obviously did a great job at punishing this command, this early command center. He wanted to get a win so that he could uh, force this to another game and equal out the footing. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, like the video, give me some comments, and tune in for Game 3. I'll see you later.